What's up, Orange County? I'm your host, Scott Stewart, and on the show today, Nigel Lithgow, Cheech Marin, Things to Do in Orange County with Robin Griffin, Giggle Gab with Julie Kidd, another do-it-yourself project with Mindy Laven, our What's Up flashback with Philip Mills, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, but first, let's head on out to the Women's Choice Award, honoring Sharon Stone. I'm very honored to speak to women about women. I think it's a very extraordinary time for women and a time when women's voices raised is the most poignant time in my lifetime, certainly, and something that we've been doing ever since I was a teenager. I think we have to do our part. We have to help. I think we have to stand up for women because, I mean, you know, we're all humans. We're all people. And I think equality is really, really the truth. That's what it's about. Women work as hard as we do. They do as much as we do. And in my case, my mom and my grandma even more. <laughs> I'm really honored to be honoring my friend Sharon Stone because she is a living example of a woman who has been through the fire, always survives, always comes out ahead, and she's a true activist. I just don't think you can do it enough. You know, my, my husband said to me, aren't there enough of these things? I said, no, there really aren't. Because women, I think from the time they're young, they, there's something about their self-confidence that, that is either lacking or gets beaten down a bit. And I, I think these kinds of award shows and any gathering of women reinforces the fact that, no, you can achieve. You, you, you will achieve. Don't let anybody get into your head. I think it's very important um, to support each other, um, especially with the judgmental world that we live in now. I think it's very um, exciting to be able to come to these events and to support other people's success. There's a lot of women, a lot of young girls that are looking for inspiration and by recognizing a lot of the women here tonight, we're going to be giving that opportunity to some of the people that are coming uh, behind us as well and I think um, this is a wonderful award show to do that. Well, I think role, I think men have to uh, educate each other. You know, I think having four sons, um, the more educated they are and the more aware that they are of that we're all equal and they're not judgmental and they're not bigots and they're not um, better than anyone or, you know, more deserving than someone else. I think, uh, I, I hope I, I've done my job and, you know, this is a, a start. What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? Here is Robin Griffin with things to do in Orange County. What's up, Orange County? This is Robin Griffin, and today we're gonna check out the city of Irvine. There are so many fun things to do, some restaurants and a few secret spots. Irvine's biggest attraction is the Irvine Spectrum. It's an outdoor shopping mall. They have movie theaters, a whimsical carousel, and you can even take a ride on the 108-foot Ferris wheel. This place has something fun for everyone. You can't miss the Great Park Balloon. This big orange hot air balloon ride is meant to hold 25 to 30 people all at once. It's 25 minutes long and gives you a 360 degree view of the world around you. It makes for a great afternoon. The park also offers a weekly farmer's market. A fun night out on the town or with friends or a date night would be the Improv Comedy Club in the Irvine Spectrum. Enjoy dinner and drinks while you're being entertained. You will have a fun night and a lot of laughs. Boomers is a fun zone for the whole family. It has laser tag, arcade games, miniature golf, batting cages, and go-karts. It even has King Arthur's Carnival for kids. 
The beautiful Barclay Theater in Irvine has lots of events for all ages. Enjoy world music, theater, and contemporary dance. And the last place I have to share with you is Plush Karaoke Lounge. Come be a rock star for the night. So bring some friends because it has beautiful private rooms, 16 of them. What a great time we had here in Irvine. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you come here real soon and have some fun. This is Robin O.C. Girl, and I will see you at my next destination. I had a chance to meet with Nigel Lifgow from So You Think You Can Dance at the Golden Foodie Awards. Check it out. Let's start out by, he's got, on the favorite show, So You Think You Can Dance, we love it, but now you're creative director, producer, and now winemaker. Right? Well, I don't actually make oh, the wine. Yeah. I guess there's no time to make it, but it's got your name around it, right? It has, yeah, Villa Sad Juliet. Okay, and they're going to be serving that tonight. Right? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, so do you get to Orange County very often? Um, I come down to the Montage Hotel. We always, when we were making uh, American Idol, we used to bring our four finalists down there and uh, love it down there. Yeah, so with the show, I know you are the number one tap dancer in the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> How did the next generation turn out? I yeah, love this show. It was great, they were great. I didn't know Keita was going to win it. I thought that girl, you know, the girl was so talented. One of the world's awesome. greatest tap dancers, Savion Glover, actually choreographed on it, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You no, know, the show, I don't know what you're going to do next year if we're going to go back to the adults or I'm going to find old people next year. Old people, okay. <laughs> and you keep in mind, you know, if that cat gets tired, Scott can always host one of the shows right, for you, Nigel, you right? What's up, Orange County needs a little boost to what's up across the world, but I don't have that accent. Is it a requirement to have the accent the to the host? Accent. Yes, I notice a lot of hosts have that you British. Can put on a British accent, cut? Yes, I can, and I'm ready to host your new show. No, I probably won't pass one. Oh, no, that was so slightly Irish, that was. <laughs> I am Scottish. I can do my oh, best. Oh, there yeah, you go. Norwegian. So, and who are you with in this yeah, dress? Beautiful. beautiful lady, yes. Yes, she Stephanie is. Magic. Hi, Stephanie. Yes, magic with a D. Oh, really? She is magic, yes. Okay. So you're ready to check out, oh, there's so much food here tonight, and wine, the awards, this looking excitement. To it, Scott. Yeah, I'm looking forward nice. to it. Excited to see what you're going to create next. You're going to just do, you know, you're just well, getting I'm started. i show for you, aren't I? Please. He's my favorite, I am hey. telling you. Looking to purchase or sell your home in Southern California or anywhere in the U.S.? Preeti Batal from Keller Williams is here to give your dreams an address. Preeti's approach comes with passion, energy, 110% commitment, and a genuine interest, creating an ultimate real estate experience for you. Go to EliteOCHomes.com or call Preeti now to discover the difference. What is success? Where does it come from? Is it fate? Does it come from hard work? Or hardship? Don't worry if you're not sure. Just stay true to yourself, and success will find you. Santa Margarita, for who you are. We have a very special correspondent on the show this week. Here's Jessica Meyer, AKA Cancer Crusher. Hi, I'm Jessica Meyer, and I'm a brain cancer survivor. I am here on behalf of the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Today, I turned into a superhero reporter to talk to all the celebrities who came out to support kids like me. Have you been impacted by the Children's Hospitals in your life? I have, yeah. Uh, a friend of mine works at the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles and uh, I go over there from time to time. It's a, a good staff, great people. So if you could be a superhero for one day, what would be your powers and why? Well, you know, it's a tough question. The obvious answer is the power of flight. It's everyone's favorite. But uh, I say, why not the power of teleportation? Because then you just get there like instantly. You get to ignore traffic. But it's more fun to fly than to just bamf there. So I'm probably gonna stick with the power of flight. Although I also kind of wish I had super strength. Are you nervous? Cause there, you know, there's a bunch of superhero kids, you know, gonna be acting. Are you nervous? 
I don't know. Let me check. Nope. Still as a rock. How did the Children's Hospital inspire you? Um, you know, I've worked for the Children's Hospital in Dallas quite a bit. I've worked with their network there and Don and, you know, brought the Dallas Mavericks out to visit and meet, meeting with a bunch of kids. And, you know, you guys are an inspiration. It just shows you that, you know, with your heart and your mind in the right place and a little bit of soul and a little, you know, anything is possible. And so, you know, I get inspired and, and if I can come in and inspire some kids along the way, why, you know, it's just a good thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Put your money where the miracles are. So what brought you here today at this event? Well, I think that it's important to support children's hospitals and children's medicine in general. So what in then inspired you to know about the Children's Hospital and help them? Well, I have two kids and I think about the idea that if they ever got sick that I would want kind of everybody in the world to show their support and, and be out there as well. So I think that's what got me, inspired me to get involved originally. But then after I meet everybody and interact, like doing something like this is actually a lot of fun. You know, we stayed in character for a long, quite a bit. <laughs> How was it filming with some of the kids? They were awesome. Um, really Too much energy? No, good amount of energy. Uh, and I don't know. I think that the, it, like kids' imaginations uh, are so much. Like I'm like, wow, did I ever have an imagination that great? We were just like in a super hideout and stuff, which was awesome. And it felt like we were really there. So what brought you here today at this event? We heard about some crime that yeah. was uh, needed to fight, I so saw, we're here. I saw a light in the sky that, that called us to this venue, and we're here to fight crime and uh, make new friends. I'm looking to make some besties here. So how excited are you guys to start shooting with some of these superheroes? Well, I, can only, I can only speak for myself, but I'm this excited. It's... Uh... How excited are you? It's really tough to talk. I can't really talk oh, right now. Oh, he's going to cry. He's going to cry. He's so excited. No. No, don't. Don't. Oh. Oh, he's crying. You can't really see it because, the, I don't know, the filter on the camera, but he has tons of tears in his face. You got to get going. Okay, okay. Let's get him out of here. Go. Let's get him out of here. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Super Thank you so fly. much. Thank you. NATO, Purple Lightning, and Mr. Boom out. Clear? So how has the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals inspired you in your life? Children's Miracle Network hospitals inspire me daily in my life. I mean, getting to hang out with such amazing young people who are just uh, so vibrant and, and so enthusiastic about their journey and, and seeing the smiles on their faces just kind of puts everything in a proper perspective for me. What's up, Orange County? Yeah? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? Here with another do-it-yourself project is Mindy Laven. Today we're going to talk about preparing your home for sale. Buying a home is one of the most important investments that most people will ever make. So when it comes time to sell your home, it's important to set the stage to receive the most return on that investment. For most people, the way you live in your home from day to day is going to be different than the way that you stage your house. It's important to understand what potential buyers are looking for in a home. When staging a home, it's important to set a scene that allows buyers to emotionally move in. Buyers are looking as much for a place that feels like home as a place that is home. We want to create those feelings of warmth and happiness through the way that we stage your home. Gone are the days of bringing in expensive rental furniture and accessories. Today's home staging uses decorating items and accessories that the homeowner already has. During our one hour, one on one consultation, we'll go through your home room by room, inside and out. Some of the things that we're gonna talk about are curb appeal. Let's make your house look beautiful from the outside. You only have one chance to make a first impression. We'll talk about corralling the clutter, picking up those little things that you've forgotten to notice but buyers surely are going to. And finally, we'll talk about a clean house being a dream house. If your house looks clean and tidy, it looks well taken care of. Curb appeal. You only have one chance to make a first impression. Simple things like wiping down windows and doors can make a big difference. Creating an inviting entry, hosing down eaves, touching up paint, 
and planting colorful flowers are all small steps that can make a big difference. Corralling the clutter. This is an important and often missed step. Selective editing creates a sense of space, often making a home feel larger and more open. Removing personal items allows buyers to imagine themselves in your space. Finally, a clean house is a dream house. Wash up those dishes, dust those chandeliers, and wipe down those baseboards. When your house appears neat and tidy, it appears well taken care of. When you have an objective, experienced professional help you set your home up for sale, you can be certain that you'll get the most return on your most important investment. Each week we want to feature one of our favorite segments from the past. Here's Olympic coach and choreographer, Philip Mills. Everyone, this is the man that all the figure skaters want to know. He is the top world and Olympic choreographer to all these figure skating stars. I'm not kidding. His list, he's got Michelle Kwan, Sasha Cohen. I looked at his website, there was like 20 pages. So this is Philip Mills. Thanks for having me. I was really glad to be here. Well, thanks. What's up, Orange County? Was lucky to get him in between lessons. Um, you have taught a lot of different uh, skaters. I noticed one of my favorites is Michelle Kwan. What can you tell me about Michelle? Well, working with Michelle Kwan, she is the epitome of the perfect student. And I use her as an example with all my students saying, you really need to learn how to learn. She is quiet, she is focused, she is driven. Another skater I noticed was Sasha Cohen. Sasha Cohen, I just love her to death. She, I call her my little wild animal. Oh. I always have to reel her in. You know, she gets a little bit excited and goes in different directions, so I always go, Sasha. Reel her in. Reel it in. I heard that you were a gymnast and also a professional dancer, so you were not a professional I, figure skater. No, I was not a figure skater. I was a, I was a gymnast with a college scholarship that studied ballet and ended up joining a ballet company, and then uh, 13 or 14 years later, this all evolved. Oh, the Zamboni's coming. Hey, out. you know what? We're at Paramount Iceland here in Paramount, and aren't they the home of the original Zamboni? Yes. Woo! We are going to see one of your skaters, right? You're on your next lesson? Right. Who, who, skates on. You're going to put your skates on. We're going to see her. Who are we, who are we going to see? Young lady, Jackie Labarge, taking time to set the spin. Getting in the basic position first is so important. And to the full Beelman extension. And a nice finish. Stretch out, good. Extension, beautiful. Combination spin. Remember, we want to make sure we get our level four. We want to hit all of our features. We have two features on each side. So these people can understand a little bit what the international judging system is like. All right, and as you hit, as you attain the feature, I'll call it out saying that's one. Okay. And we're going to go for level four spin. Let's do it, okay. So there's different levels in the spins? Yes, and different levels bring different point values as well. Obviously we try to get all level four spins. Forward entry camel. So this is a level so, four? No, that, we're gonna see, or no. Well, we're gonna see. Okay, this is a variation in eight revolutions. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two features. You can only have two features on one side. Pancake, three features. And an upright variation Woo. is four features. Level four, there you go. It's not really that hard to understand. This may be hard to do. Hard to do, but not so hard to understand. Hey, hey, Jackie, we're loving it. Thank you. Level nice four job. spin. You did your job. You Proud did it, of you. That's what we expect. It looked like time. it could have hurt, but it didn't. No, it's all good. And up, out. Woo. Stretch the landing. Draw the feet together. What good. kind of jump was that? That was an axle. Axle, people. So you wish that me and hope and pray maybe I can get out there and do like a triple jump or something just on my first try. I I'm put feeling on a it. Helmet. I'm feeling it.
My name is Gordon. When I decided to sell my home, I knew I wanted to move to a 55 plus community. I wanted to find a place where I felt I fit in and would be comfortable. I found Fountain Glen. The team is incredible. They're friendly and very responsive to my needs. When there's a problem, it gets solved fast. When I'm not relaxing in my apartment, you'll usually find me in the clubhouse, always having a great time. The on-site library is one of my favorite places to take a break, have some coffee, catch up on my current book, or find a new one. These days, I'm feeling pretty carefree. At Fountain Glen, this is my time. I feel incredibly fortunate to have found my home at Fountain Glen. When it comes to the people, the amenities, the adventures, I feel like I could go on and on. I truly believe that I've found that sense of community I was looking for. Here with Giggle Gab is funniest mom, Julie Kidd. Since I've been back in New York, I went to my class reunion uh, from kindergarten. Um, I didn't want to go because since kindergarten, I've put on like a hundred pounds. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here and just have a little chit chat and a little giggle gab with you. How did you get started in comedy? I actually, I took the mail in from the wrong apartment and in there was a class on um, acting. And I'm like, hmm, I should take an acting class at night. So I took the class and the teacher quit like in the middle of the class and they said, you should take another class. So I'm thumbing through the catalog more and I saw how to be a stand-up comedian. Wow. And it was as if like Eureka, fireworks, it was like, oh, I can do that? Um, who are some of your inspirations <gasps> in comedy? And, and you know what, <laughs> don't say me. <laughs> Come on. Julie Kidd, <laughs> your energy is infectious. Oh my God, thank and you. And it's really contagious. You're so sweet and funny. Thank um, you. Well, when you're drunk. Yeah. Other influence is Lily Tomlin. Yes. I used to imitate her for my dad. I used to go, one ringy dingy. <laughs> uh, and that's the truth. Mm -hmm. I can't even do it. But, and I love her so much. And I've gotten to meet her. I've gotten to meet my idols. Um, I remember hearing Phyllis Diller on the Merv Griffin show or Mike Douglas like in the 70s and she wow. was saying you have to make them laugh and then just when they think they're done you have to hit them again and I'm like 11 going I know what you mean lady I didn't oh, you're on America's Got Talent I was How was that experience you know it seems like a dream ever do something in your life where you go I can't believe I did that like that's what that was like I'm so glad I did that right. but it all seems like a big blur kind of like my childhood but this is what happened Julie not to be a downer but Jeff my husband and I were in a car accident and I thought I need to get back out there because I was like I never took time off completely but mm -hmm. once I became a stepmom I wanted to stay home more so I didn't right. travel as much I was traveling all the time yeah. And so I thought, I have to get back out there. And that's when I auditioned for America's Got Talent. And I did get the exposure and kind of just the boost I needed to right. get out there again. And I was did I ever bomb? Yeah, I have bombed uh, pretty badly. It made me feel like the re all the reasons that made me do comedy in the mm -hmm. first place. Right. I felt alone, I felt sad. Just like all the reasons that I got into comedy because mm -hmm. I wanted to feel a part of something and I want to make people laugh and enjoy themselves. Sure. Well, I feel like every time I have kind of a hard show, it just makes me, it like steals me. And I'm yeah. just like, I'm gonna do it better next time. So I'm only that. as good as my next show. <laughs> Next for me, well, I do a show at Vitello's uh, Restaurant Studio City once a month. You've been on my show. And I have great comedians. Everybody from Anthony Jeselnik to Tig Notaro to Eliza Schlesinger, Nikki Glaser, um, 
George Lopez. See, I'm also writing a play, Julie Kidd. You know, I'm writing, I saw that. I'm writing a play, but I don't want to be in it. It's a one-woman show for like, you could do it. I don't want to be in it. I want a distance from it. It's called What to Wear to Therapy. <gasps> and it's a play in two sessions. <laughs> and I love that. It's Okay, I'm giggle gab. And giggle gab! Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Count the headlights on the highway. Hi, I'm Cheech Marin. What's up, Orange County? What's up? What's happening? We're backstage and I have found Cheech Marin. How are you? Yeah, I'm just ducky. How are you? <laughs> so I heard there's going to be a fashion show and you're going to be talking. Yeah, I'm going to be talking over over the, everybody staring at the beautiful girls running up and down the, and, uh, the runway, including my wife, Natasha. Oh, she's here tonight? She's here tonight. She's our dressing her, they're buffing her, they're shining her, they're <laughs> all parts steam cleaned. Oh my goodness. And I heard your lovely wife is an incredible pianist. She's a, a world-class concert pianist from Russia. She's Russian. Ooh, Russian. Yeah, right. uh, that's fun, I bet. Well, uh, just like caviar, honey. <laughs> oh, his wife is just like caviar. Like caviar and champagne. <laughs> so, you know, I've been a fan of yours for many years. Of course, Up in Smoke and then the TV shows. And is it true you're working on, like, something with the Virgin, Jane the Virgin? Uh, Jane the Virgin, yeah. I'm working on Jane the Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> they called me in to be the, uh, the the love interest of the grandmother. I'm at that age, you know, where I go, uh, I just bang grandmothers on TV, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So this charity is great yeah, yeah it's a wonderful uh, very worthy cause uh, uh, for battered women in, the, in Orange County and then they, it's a very big need for it and I'm glad to uh, participate so now while your wife's playing that piano are you singing along are you a singer we have, we have yeah I am I have been a singer all my life we've had we have a, a little cabaret show that we do oh really yeah it's called how did that guy get that girl <laughs> oh, we know your friend Tommy did the dancing with the stars do you yeah. think we could ever see you out there on the dance floor no no I have bad knees you know I, have, I need a, another couple more knees and then and then I'll do it but not in this lifetime. Yes, well, we got over 300 people tonight ready to go. Sure. I want to see you out there getting the yeah. fashion show on. We're going to light this joint up. We're going to, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> well, that's the end of the show, but be sure to check us out on the internet at whatsuporangecounty.com where you can watch videos, see exclusive photos, and contact us about being on the show. You can also follow us on Twitter at whatsuporangecounty.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Scott Stewart, and that's just a slice of what What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? <laughs> hey, what's up, Orange County? <laughs> what's up, Orange County? 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 What's up? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? Mm. We are. Ah.